Hi, everybody. Good morning. I'm here with Brian Neiman, WBAL. So we are live. And um, uh, so just we just wanted to touch base with Brian and, and let all the listeners know about uh, the real estate uh, real estate market and what's going on, uh, you know, and how the, the COVID-19 virus is affecting the, the local market. Yeah. 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 We'll, we'll simulcast this right here. Brian Neiman here on WBAL News Radio 1090 and FM 101.5 with Vinny Steo our buddy from REMAX community. So I know, look, every industry, right, is, has been affected differently. Most yeah. most places have been hit hard. Some businesses are booming, right, like the grocery store and any, anything that makes, you know, uh, hand sanitizers or any kind of, of cleaning material. How would you describe the housing market, right? Because you know, it's, there's still movement yeah. in, in, in the market, right? Yeah, a- absolutely, Brian. And, and I just I just wanted to uh, start by just giving a shout out to, to all of our amazing healthcare workers out there and, and everybody else that, that's putting themselves on the front line to, uh, you know, to keep us safe and, and to serve us. So I just, just wanted to, uh, you know, thank everybody. But, um, you know, as far as the, the real estate market, um, yeah, things are still moving along. Uh, we did, uh, we pulled some numbers uh, uh, just just a, a few days ago, and we were looking at the, uh, the the numbers from March of 2019 and the numbers from March, you know, this past March, and they're nearly identical with with only about a half a percent differential. So so that's really great news. So um, we look at you know the short term impact of this versus the long term impact. So short term, it looks like we're going to be okay. And historically speaking. The, the real estate market has always lagged behind any type of uh, catastrophic event. So, um, you know, the, the long term outlook, you know, we're not quite sure how, how this may or may not impact. But um, but but for right now, th- things are looking pretty good. Um, we are we are seeing some shifts uh, with uh, with buyers and sellers that don't really need to sell. They're they're kind of hanging tight. Um, but uh, but there are some buyers and sellers out there that have started this process months or, or even years ago. And uh, right. for, for, for those people, um, I mean, there's really some great opportunities uh, to take advantage of in the marketplace. Well, yeah, people always want to know, is it a buyer's or a seller's market at this point? Interest rates are extremely low, like all time yeah. great low um, for, for buyers. But but how, how would you assess that aspect of it? Yeah, Brian, um, I mean, that, that's a really good point. Um, the interest rates are at historically low levels. I mean, I was just checking yesterday, rates are hovering right around 3%. So that's, I mean, this is absolutely incredible. Um so buyers, you know, they're able to purchase more home for the money. And uh, and for first time buyers, I mean, they're in a position right now where they can actually get into a house for less money than what they're paying for rent. So really, really amazing opportunities out there. Um, there are some buyers that are, that are saying, well, I'm going to kind of wait, wait it out, you know, see if there's going to be a shift down the road. Uh, maybe prices will drop. But um, I will tell you, for those buyers that are, you know, kind of hanging, hanging out, waiting for that to happen, um, any potential drop that may or may not happen would certainly be offset by the rise in interest rates, which are expected to happen later this year. Um, yeah. and, and, go ahead, Brian. Well, I was just going to say, because you have, you know, um, you know, interest rates that are extremely low right now, it might yeah. entice people to get in. But it is all about, you know, how much demand is out there versus how much inventory is out there. Yeah. Um, so, so what what do you recommend to people? I mean, is it all all about your individual situation? I mean, that, that's certainly you, you have to take that into account. Um, like I was saying, there's certain people that that don't need to move, um, and they're they're just going to wait it out no matter what. Um, but for the buyers that that want to take advantage of, of what's going on in the marketplace, uh, like we were just talking about, a lot of great opportunities. For sellers, um, they're really taking advantage of the low inventory levels, and that's something that we've been talking about for quite a while, um, and that's still happening right now in our spring market. So not only are, are the inventory levels low, but we're in our peak market, and the sellers have access to motivated buyers. So the buyers that are actually in the marketplace right now are, are, very, uh, are very motivated, and uh, you know they're more willing to put a deal together that's going to be a win-win for everybody. Um, we also have our, our seller clients that have vacation homes or investment homes, and they're just looking to free up some equity right now um, because they, they're thinking, okay, there may be a potential market shift down the road, so so let's just let's just free up some equity. So that's been a lot of uh, a lot of clients that have been reaching out to us have been uh, people with those investment properties or uh, or second homes. Yeah, we're talking with Vinny Steele from Remax Community, Brian Neiman here on WBAL, talking about the housing market situation right now. It's fascinating. I mean, everything is different with this pandemic. But if you if we went through this 20 years ago, I'm not sure you could have done this with the housing market. But because 
you can do so much now online yep. and you can do so much remotely. Talk about, you know, the safety aspects of it and, and how it is for, for you as a realtor and how it is for people who are interested in putting their house on the market or maybe looking for a market on, on how they are seeing these properties that are out there. Yeah, so we, we put together uh, two programs. Uh, we have our Clean Home Protection Program, which is designed to pre- protect both buyers and sellers as, as well as our team when either showing or viewing a home. And we have strict pro- protocols. Uh, we've been actually doing some training on this uh, in the, over the last couple of weeks to uh, make sure that we are ready and able to to serve our clients that are uh, wanting to make a move right now. So this is more for the for the buyers and sellers that are still having people come through their properties or they're actually going out and looking at properties. Um, and then we put together our virtual program, which consists of eight virtual tools. And this is really for people that are at higher risk or for those that just want to limit their exposure even more. And the virtual program allows uh, an opportunity for buyers and sellers to be able to be able to accomplish their goals while still reducing their exposure. So um, we've been working with buyers and sellers completely remotely. Uh, We have, uh, you know, clients that are really concerned about what's going on. So they they are really appreciating our approach. We have the ability to communicate, review documents, obtain signatures, show properties without making any physical contact. So um, we've been telling all of our, our clients out there, no matter what your level of concern is, we have a program to, uh, to be able to help you. Yeah, that is interesting. And and the the going to closing and things like that, can that still be done remotely? Can you do electronic signatures that way? In in some instances, yes. In in others, there are things that the title companies have been doing to be able to limit exposure. So they're they're um, limiting the number of people that would actually show up at closing. But for some people, they can do it completely remotely. So it just depends on your circumstances and uh, and what the nature of the uh, the purchase is. Yeah. And well, what about Vinny when it comes to actually moving? <laughs> I guess you still have to go through that process too, which, you know, um, it, but I guess the good thing is, is that people are, are working from home or they're not working as much. So they have more time to maybe do it, them, do it for themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is true. Um, yeah. I mean, there are certain parts of this that, that can, that can be a little bit challenging, but, uh, with our, with our protocols that we have in place, we are instructing everybody on how to be safe. And how to do this with with uh, by limiting exposure as much as possible, and uh, we we do have some people that um, you know with with all this great technology that we have and all these programs, they're still wanting to just just hold off. They're saying, well, that's that's a little great, but you know we're still going to hold off. And uh, for our sellers uh, out there that that are wanting to do that, we have one of our, our most popular free reports. Uh, that has done really well in the past. We made it available again. It's called the Nine Step System to get your home sold fast and for top dollar. And the uh, the report is packed with really helpful tips um, so that you are prepared when you're actually ready. So you can uh, give our office a call 410-793-1616. For those that are watching live on Facebook, you can um, just message us here on Facebook and uh, we will uh, be happy to, to get you out a copy. And um, and I wanted everybody to know we are one of the essential businesses uh, that, that are still open. So we are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you have questions um, or you're thinking about you know making a move right now, feel free to give us a call um, and uh, or, or again, message us and we'd be happy to uh, to take care of you. Yeah, great information as always, Vinny Steele with Remax Community. Great to talk with you, Vinny. Always appreciate you coming on and, and uh, talking real estate with us. Thank you, Brian. I, I really.